Hey, Aries, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy solar return, Aries. What's going on? What's good? It is our birthday, okay? My birthday's on the 30th of March. So I turned 33 this year. It's going to be a wonderful year. All right, so yes, give me one second. Okay, I'll take that hot sweater off. So, Aries, let's see what this birth year has for you. It is Aries season. Okay, we about to get into this first month of spring. All right, and really um, get into it. You know, y'all kick it off. Y'all are the fire starters. Y'all are the spark initiators. All right very confident in everything that you do, so lively, so loving, so giving, so so honoring, so patient of all things. Although sometimes, you know, we can be a little bit impulsive. We want things to happen right here, right now. But for the most part, we are fairly patient people. <laughs> everything does not have to come right here, right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull some tarot cards. We are going to see... Um, as far as what each week of the month of the Aries month, I should say, has because it does last for four weeks. And yes, from the 21st to the, what is it? The 19th, I believe of, of uh, what, April? So, Let's just get into this. Let's see what's going on, what messages, insight, guidance, spirit, our ancestors have for us during Aries season for the Aries zodiac sign. What would you like Aries to know for the season of Aries? What messages do you have for them this time? Insight, guidance, what are we not aware of? What advice do you have for us? Allow me to be a conduit and provide the messages for those who are watching this video who needs the these messages at this time. So thank you. Let's do this. <laughs> what is going on with Aries in Aries season? Feeling very bright, very warm. The song that started coming, that came over is I'm coming out, I want the world to know. So, Aries, maybe you're about to really start being yourself. Okay. Maybe it is your time to shine. Let's see. Aries. Oh, wow. Okay, Aries. So this is an interesting, interesting line. But, all right. So the first card coming out is the Tower card. What's very interesting is um, in your spring reading, the Tower card came out in the first half of spring. So this is the first week of spring. So this Tower is happening as soon as it um, kicks off. And what I was getting was that it was a move happening. Right, wherever, <clears throat> whether that is a move in thought, a move in communication, um, or however it is that that may be. Now, the cards that you have here, um, you have the, the big house, Dr. Buzzard, five of six, father of Sims. So for those who are only aware of traditional um, tarot, that would be the tower card, the justice card, the five of sticks and the temperance card. Okay, so with that, with the, what I'm getting is there's some forward movement. There's some letting go of um, how it is that you've been thinking, feeling about yourself, um, about the world around you, about people who you connected with even. Um, you, it's almost as if you are getting rid of, you are, you're getting rid of any type of internal conflict that does not serve you, any type of um, whatever type of devils that's been walking with you are leaving. You are getting away from um, 
those who operate from a, a I don't want to say demonic, but like a very low vibrational kind of energy who act like they're there for you kind of thing, but um, really not. If that's something that you experience, not everybody's experiencing anything like that. Um, but this also has a lot to do with your work, right? It has to do with your connections, your relationships, your partnerships, you know, and because the second week of fairy season, you have Dr. Buzzard. And so you are making a way out of no way, no matter what the circumstance is. Okay, justice is on your side. You are basically winning. You're winning and clarity is being found here. There's a sense of, there's a really deep sense of understanding that you're gaining this spring, this airy season. You know, it's airy season starting off very powerfully for you, Aries. Okay, um, because the third week we, we have, we have the five of sticks, right? So this is the end of eternal conflict. Um, it's the end of competition. You're finding strength through doing you by going your own way, right? Through this understanding that has come forward, right? Through this clarity that you have received, you see the light. The light has been shown, all right? And transformation has been taking place. And you're walking away from this stance here. This girl is all frowned up because this girl's in the background. Um, when she walked away, they started talking about her, you know, so... Um, she put a root on them or hexed them, however you want to say it. But what it is, is that you're walking away from people who make you feel like that. You're walking away from even so feeling that you have people around you who are like that because that, it doesn't necessarily seem like that's the case. Only because um, there's balance here. There's a lot of peace here because we got the Tower and Dr. Buzzard. The Father Sixth and Father of Sims. That's all about balance. It's all about moderation. It's about harmony within and without. Okay, this is about things moving forward and healing taking place where you may not have thought there was possible to be any. So perhaps there may be like some healing reconciliation within connection either with yourself or with others, right? Um, there may be an understanding coming forward with conflict, old conflict even, right? And it's pushing you forward further into your path, into your future, right? You, you, you see the full picture. You understand the full scope of things. Um, you're willing to do the footwork in a sense. Also, it's also about being patient as things continue to take place because things Everything's moving very quickly. This is fire and air energy, Aries. You got fire and air energy in the first half of uh, spring for your spring breeding. So stuff is happening very quickly for you. It's a lot of justice taking place here. Like um, in a sense, your wishes are being granted. It feels um, granted. So there may be some of some Aries who are not getting who are getting the short end of the stick right but that comes from uh, an understanding that's needing to be gathered right you're, it's, you're needing to learn something through this what's happening right so it's like some of us seen this coming this tower moment Right, but some of us have been really holding on to possibilities and looking through rose colored glasses, right? And now we're having to move forward and be cleansed of, of what it is, what, what that has taken place of within our consciousness, within our state of consciousness, right? So that um, things can be rectified. So the path can continue to be open for us. So the roads can continue to be open for us so that we can let go of uh, small things that tend to debilitate us from places it is that we at one time could not see, but we can now. It, is, it has been revealed with this five of sticks. This five of sticks is a revelation right because it's like this girl she thought these were her friends but 
they're not. So she's seeing the truth of the matter. Father Sims, the truth of the matter is here and you're walking forward, doing your own thing, how in the way in which it is that you want to do it, you are moving forward toward your goals very swiftly in a way that may seem very magical to people. Like, oh, she just lucky, it right? that. And that may be where the 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 behind the scenes kind of talk is coming like they just lucky like they, they just had a break and it's like no nah, I've been doing this work so this tower can't power I've been moving through this tower energy it's now coming down all right I got my justice okay I can move forward and do my thing in peace <laughs> this is where you at with it okay what else is here spirit Archangel Michael got my back. The spirits got my back. Everybody got my back. Who wants to go to war? Spirit got my back. You know, I'm not worried about war anymore because I found a way to not have to. There is justice had. Everything works out in my favor no matter what the circumstances. It all works out. What else is here? Ooh, there may be some frenemy energy here too that's showing up here in the center. Um, and that's being cleared out, you know, is perhaps it was frenemies of the past, right? So these rose colored glasses, this tower moment, everything crumbling may be something that had been held onto for a really long time because. A plantation, this is a plantation house that's falling, right? It's on fire. And so with it, plantation houses are very sturdy, long lasting. You know, they they are um they hold longevity, they hold legacy, right? So this could be something within your family, within you that's been rooted in you, that's coming up in and bringing you this peace, this harmony, this justice that you deserve. And from the outside. This should look like how they do that, where they do that at. And instead of asking, some people will be like, mm, they just lucky or, oh, perhaps that whole you, you did something to get that kind of thing. And it's just like, no, I've been patient. I've been doing the work and maybe you're going to be sharing that with people. You're probably going to be teaching this to people, you know, uh, helping them understand how they can go from zero to mother and hero of their own life. Okay. How to save themselves. All right. To see things very clearly. Let's see. What other messages do you have for spirit? For Aries, for Aries season. Other messages for Aries. Yeah, Whew. all right. It's something, there may be something, something's being revealed again. First of all, let's talk about this card. This is the Vod Yanoi Sprite. He is a merman, right? And he talks about transformation. Okay, he says, the ebb and flow of the tide carries good tidings. So know that that's bothering me. Okay, so know that with the bad comes the good. With the good, there will be a down. and There may be some bad, right? But through these ebbs, these ups and downs, these flows of ebbs, of waves that we conquer, that we surf, that we swim through, all right, transformation is taking place. It says, look to the future and believe it's good. Big appointments with many important people are predicted. Because the Vodunoi Sprite gathers in numbers. An immortal Sprite of lakes, pools, streams, and rivers, it reveals that you, like it, are special and that your life will be too. The company you keep is changing as the feeling someone has for you or a relationship you have with someone. A new, profound relationship will occur from a most unlikely meeting. The Vodunoi shifts shape and change shade, intimating that you may change your appearance or style quite happily. The power within you will enable you to achieve great things if you try. So do. So whatever it is that's meant for you, that's 
taking place for you, whatever uh, intuitive spark it is that you get, do that, all right? Things are, the feelings it is that are changing, um, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a really good thing because it's really like you're overcoming, like this five of six is in between these um, three major arcana cards, right? So it's like you're overcoming, you're finding peace in this old pattern, right? This five of six is between two cards that represent harmony, that represent balance, okay? And it's fire and air. So they pushing that shit all the way out, all right? And this is you, you are purifying your energy and you are, are changing your mindset, are right, you changing how you see things? You're changing how the way in which it is that you word, how you perceive things, right? On a conscious, on a subconscious level, right? Things gonna be coming consciously, but it's the things that are subconscious, the foundation, the root that is hidden that has to be undone, right? Because it's what is living there, what's hiding within those realms, that darkness is what trips us up in continuing to perpetuate cycles that put us in that five or six energy of not feeling sure of um, dealing with people who we can't trust. And that is simply out of truly not trusting ourselves because we don't, we're not even really recognizing where it is that we're coming from. Okay. So it's a change taking place. What else is here? Spirit for Aries, for Aries season. Aries for Aries season. What else do we have here? something is that it's definitely of something in the past that is coming undone for you now okay so this is the third quarter moon here in the third quarter moon it speaks about um it's about things again seeing things clearly it's about a, a shift in the mindset recognizing how it is that you think right how you're putting your thoughts together how it is that you are allowing things to be carried from you out into the world this is a very internal type of card you know so you are letting go of the toxicity you are letting go of seeing yourself as any other way than sacred, worthy, and holy, all right, um, by all means, no matter what the case is, right, all experiences are valid, everything is necessary, if it happened, it was because it should be, you know, and it's seeing that um, even when it was a mistake, you know, even when it's like, oh, it wasn't my time, but no, it may not have been that time, but it happened because it had to based off of whatever cycle was perpetuating itself, whatever it was that was living that you were not aware of that had to come down in order for you to be able to continue to move forward in a prosperous way, in an abundant way, okay? To believe truly in yourself. It takes to really see yourself, to understand and know who it is that you are. You have to feel comfortable, grounded, and, and powerful in yourself. And when I say powerful, I don't mean like, oh, I'm powerful. I'm going to exert this power on whatever or through whatever I do. Not that kind of thing, but like just knowing that, damn, like I'm powerful. Like I can do this. I can make anything happen. I am capable. I can overcome anything. All right. I can be in the deepest of the darkest of the worst and I can still come out of that clean smelling like roses okay what else is here what else is here okay we have the waning gibbous moon now, the waning gibbous moon, that's interesting because that's the moon that comes right before the third quarter moon. And so with the waning gibbous moon, this is actually hangman energy, right? So perhaps you have been in the hangman energy or maybe um, coming undone out of this conflictual state of being, it's putting you in the space of seeing things and reframing your perspective, right? You're harvesting a new way of of seeing things, you're editing things, you're, you're changing 
things. Literally, you're refining, okay? You are allowing things to move forward in a way that has dug up the gunk, all right? And being able to create your own life, take your own steps in the ways in which it is that you, you see fit, that you have been wanting, all right? It's a very powerful cleansing of the past that's coming up. And it's almost like... I'm sorry, that's my son in the background, but it's almost like um, it might be something shocking, big, like, whoa, because it's funny, this mermaid card is at the bottom, Melusina, and she speaks about um, shock, right? Uh, but it may not necessarily be a bad shock. It may be like a, like, whew, wow, I can't believe that's what that was all this time kind of thing, you know, but it's a very healing energy that's taking place here. Okay. But this is all, it's all very good energy. Great things. What else is here? So just that we have here for Aries to a lot of balance taking place, a lot of healing taking place. I'm saying that, but that's really because change is here. Old cycles are ending, <laughs> coming back home to yourself. So completion happening, and you were returning to. Um, it's almost as if you are no longer wounded. You are fully healed. You're feeling connected to your inner child. You're feeling connected to your roots. You're feeling connected to who it is that you are, who you were birthed into this reality as even. You know, and things are feeling very sweet, very comfortable. Again, there's moving happening here and your um, uh, reading, your spring reading, there is a lot about a move. Now this can be move in regards to um, relationships, it can be moved as a literal home life, okay? This could be moving in as far as uh, what business, right? That growing, right? And a healing taking place within that, that's allowing you to really capitalize on it to gain, right? But because a, a really significant transformation is happening within the core of who it is that you are. This is a great card to be coming out. You know, this is success in all ventures. Whatever is unpleasant, you need to know that the future coming from that is happy and prosperous. In some areas, maybe getting engaged, or if you're already engaged, spring may be the time that you're getting married, okay? So there may be some reconciliation within the family as well. Um, some past soulmates may be coming back, people who feel a lot like home to you, who you feel like you can be open, and, and people who you can connect with, people who you can heal with, right? People who you can talk about anything with, where your intimacy does not have to be stifled, right? With an open heart and a lot of love, you know, so... Let's see what other messages. I'm gonna pull one last message for you, Aries, for your birthday. It's your birthday. What else is here? One last card for Aries. Aries. What other messages do you have for Aries for this Aries season? Aries. Oh, yes. Fearless love. That is a beautiful, beautiful card to be coming out with this energy because it's like I was saying that whole five or six energy of feeling like someone's after you, feeling like you can't trust people. That's gone. That's ending. You know, we got joy here at the bottom. There's some great things going and taking place for you, okay? This is Oshun. It is sweet. Didn't I say that? The sweetness has returned, all right? <laughs> it is good. It is great. It is plentiful. It is beautiful. It is, uh, it smells beautifully fragrant, 
All right, there is love here. She is in the temple of lovers in the card. Oh, wow. The card that came out for your um, seasonal reading, she was in the temple of lovers too. She was in the temple of lovers. All right. So Oshun, she's the element of water. All right, she's from Yoruba, Nigeria. Um, she is an Orisha deity. And she is of the honey sweet waters, love, sensuality, fertility, and beauty. But the Yoruba lady of God's anger and jealousy can also flood and destroy. Oshun says, dare to love again. Begin with loving yourself. Allow yourself to be loved. You feel everything deeply. You are porous with a wall around your heart. That is your paradox. <laughs> the embodiment says you are love and you are worth loving. Your divine assignment is to remain open to fearless love. You deserve to be loved in your language. You are worthy of a love that remembers your beauty at your ugliest moments. Don't allow your unhealed past to block your future. Real love is a sacred contract that says, I am vulnerable and committed. Your heart is safe with me. Let's, exa let's expand our consciousness together. Her declaration says, I give love, I receive love, I am love. Yes, and it's interesting because in your spring reading, the card that came out was grief, right? In the grief, God is in that, on that card, she speaks about fertility. So there may be some pregnancy coming up this month, or if you are having a baby, um, if you're already pregnant, that may, may be a very strong focus for you. Um, this may even be... Um, just building new things, creating new things, building a solid foundation, a solid structure. Things are changing. Karma is ending, like, and I'm talking about on in a way that has yet to happen. This is something that hasn't happened yet. Granted, because you know, sometimes we'll go through something and you'll be like, oh, I've been here before. I learned this lesson before. But sometimes we have to return to lessons out of the space or the matter of fact that whatever we did we didn't really learn it you know but this is not that it's not that kind of thing this is totally different it's built on a different foundation it's moving forward on a different foundation it's like it's a lot of love here again a lot of healing here you see yourself and if you don't see yourself maybe you need to do some scrying and look into some water or a mirror whatever is best for you <laughs> either way um it's going down. Happy birthday, Aries. This reading is for Aries, sun, moon, and rising. All right. I hope y'all have a beautiful, beautiful solar return year. I hope that life is bountiful and beautiful and blessing you each and every day, even when things seem down, like they ebbing all over the place. Okay. Y'all have a wonderful Aries season, and I will see y'all soon. Bye.